It doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. At the end of the day, you lose. You lose money. You lose your channel. You lose your subscribers. You lose everything. And you might lose your life. Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Fonsi here in the building. Hope you guys are good. Welcome back, my family. Welcome. If you're new here, please subscribe and press the notification bell. So you will be notified whenever I upload videos. So, this issue of uh, Maureen Badejo and uh, Apostle Johnson Suleiman is what I want to talk about today. Now, Apostle, Pastor Apostle Suleiman is a man of God that has been trending for over many years. He's been trending on Facebook, on everywhere. He knows how to preach. But lots of stories follow this man of God. I don't know. Lots of stories follow him around. I don't know the one that is true or the one that is not true. Because as for me, what I am not very sure of, I don't mendo inside it. Because there are more to these stories. So many women have been coming out saying he abused them, he slept with them, he did them this, da da da. And uh, he's not a real man of God. A lot of confessions for many years. And after all these confessions, everything will just die down. I don't know whether it's out of settlement or out of court case or the person is silenced as the man of God himself has power. He's a well-connected man of God in Niger. So, I started having a um, notification of live stream of uh, Maureen Badejo. I didn't know her before. I've never heard of her channel before. And I started watching. And I found out that she is based on live stream and not just live stream her live stream uh, of recently like of three months ago till now or four months ago has been focused on apostle suleiman and i'm like does it mean that this woman is so powerful that they can bring her channel down because i've heard that a lot of channel has been brought down because of issue of this same pastor um and every day she does live stream and she gets lots of views thousands of views because people like whenever there is a proko people like a proko too much especially people that live in diaspora <laughs> so i've been watching but i've never ever commented i'm subscribed to her but i've never ever commented on her live stream i don't even know what to comment i read comments and because i love watching live streams i found out that lots of things have been happening and lots of interviews from people that have dealt with this same pastor apostle suleiman then when it became more interesting was when uh, it was connected with his house boys emos and um, what was their name frank i don't know what they call them but i remember emos i am that's uh, the in-law of um coco mama and coco mama was uh, then dragged in and from there they started talking about coco mama they said she collected money they did it but we are not sure because you were in there she was talking about coco mama was talking about suleiman before then suddenly she stopped then Daddy Fizz also was talking about Suleiman. Then suddenly, so, um, he said um, about Suleiman called him and they met. And the next thing, he changed his narrative and he started talking good about him. So, I don't know. I was thinking that maybe he loaded him some money. He, you know, he gave, he gave him something and he was overwhelmed. And he stopped talking about him. I don't know. Or maybe he was charged to court. Nobody heard what happened. But you can hear that for Daddy Fizz to close his mouth, eh? <laughs> something must be involved. And Coco Mama stopped talking about him. Maybe she was taken to court also. And, or she signed that she would stop talking about him. And even her channel was affected. So when this Maureen was doing it, I, I was wondering whether this woman get Juju where they protect her. Because so many powerful um, um, YouTubers that are doing live stream that talk about pastors. Even um, Somako. She will just meddle in about Pastor Suleiman and she will go. She will focus on other things. She don't focus on, you know, when something trends, you focus on it and you move on. But... This even be a real judge. Recently, he, he meddled in the pastor something, and it seems he's withdrawing. He's not. <laughs> he's withdrawing himself. Especially this YouTuber that live abroad. Because if you live in Nigeria, you dare not start making this kind of video. Because before you know it, <laughs> then go carry you, <laughs> then go kidnap you. <laughs> so people living abroad feel that they are safer, but not that safe because they will still report your channel. And whenever you are going to your country, you'll be scared because you don't know who is who, who is following you or who is planning anything against you. So the best thing is whatever trend, be it pastor or anything, just talk about it and change your, you know, talk about other things. Don't focus, don't do saga because this is just like saga, just like Maureen Badejo is doing saga about uh, this particular pastor. You just focus on him, calling him out, saying, you know, accusing him of, of so many things and I was even beginning to wonder if she was one of his victims. Uh, but I never heard her talk about being a victim. And she has been connecting lots 
off. Even old. Sorry for that. Even old. Um, <laughs> what is wrong with my camera? Even old, old interviews that was done in the past. She has been connecting the Canada woman, the, um, all the people that have lived with the man, all the people that have accused the man, and they've been coming on her live stream. And I wonder if she pays them or they just did it uh, voluntarily. And another thing is that now, the main coco is that now she has been sued to court by the apostle. By you know, she has been because you would think that this pastor will not have time to start looking around or who is calling his name. Yes, this particular pastor he has that time. He's one kind of um, I think he's one kind of a person that relates to everybody. Is is he is I think he's approachable or something like that. So he has sued this morning by the job to court for defamation of name and calling him a um courtist and um all sorts of allegations and. The court case is in this March, I think March 11, and she has been sent a letter accusing her of everything she accused him of and asking her to present herself to court. And now she has brought out a receipt of all the expenses she has to do. Everything is around fifteen thousand pounds. Hey, do you know how much is fifteen thousand pounds in Niger? Even even all these views she has been having, I don't think she has made up to that amount for her to now spend everything back in court case. And she has been asking her, her subscribers, people that have been supporting her to contribute the money. People have been contributing, they've gotten up to 10,000 pounds. People have one year. All the gossip people listen to, now it's time to pay for that gossip. Thank God I don't follow. So me, I don't have any money to contribute to anybody. If you carry uh, pastor matter for head, when time come. We all know these things that have been happening, good pastors, bad pastors. Let us leave them for God to judge. Let, them, let God judge them. They're not going to live this life forever. See, um, um... Pastor, the other pastor, uh, the other pastor that, what was that his name? Um, T.B. Joshua. You see how he just lost his life. Now, are we still talking about him? Mm -hmm. That one too, carry bad name. So let God judge them. If they are good, it's up to God to judge. And if they are bad, it's up to God to judge them. At the end of the day, we all are going to go alone to God to answer for whatever we've done. You, you have said your own is to preach and tell people, this place you are going, it's not good. Don't go there. Don't do this. Once you say it, carry your papers. Remove the sand at the back of your slippers. That was what God taught us in the Bible. Clean off the back of your slippers, carry your shoe and go and never come back to that land. But if you constantly keep banging it in the air, they will feel that it's because of the money you are generating from this thing. That's why you are doing it, to make money. And the money says, you are not even enjoying the money. You are just there every morning, morning afternoon, night. You are doing four hours live stream. You are not doing exercise. You are not going out to have fun. You are not even traveling around. Just sit one place talking about one particular person. People that have time, they will come there and be saying their own mind. At the end of the day, the money you make, they will sue you to court. You still carry all the money and spend it away. And we've not even known how much this pastor is going to charge her for spoiling his name. The 15K is just for the court case, the lawyer, they will be hired and everything. At the end of the day, if this man wins, he's going to charge her a very big money. And if she can't pay that money, she will go to jail. So, and her channel will be demonetized and everything, you know. So, they are connected. So, just do whatever is trending or like the time he did um, uh, miracle money you can talk about it and move on to another pastor or to another trending topic but if you focus on him you are going to end up having court case they can meet you anywhere once they know the country you live in they will send court paper and you'll be shocked you are not safe anywhere because through youtube they will know where you live you can't hide you can't hide forever so now she, she has even slimmed down because I know she, she has been thinking too much about this, but she will not tell her subscribers. You know, when I saw her, she was looking slimmer to, to show that she has not been sleeping at night because she has been worried about all this dragging to court, court case. Nobody would like to experience anything in court case, especially when you are dealing with a bigger person. And when you know that you yourself, you are not involved, you are not one of his victims. Don't go looking for solutions to solve people's problems. Whether you are doing it to make money or you are doing it to help, out, help people out, there is limit. Let it be between them. You have said your own. I wanted to tell her this, but I know once you uh, comment something she doesn't like, she gets angry and she will just delete your comment and tell you to get out. She will even insult you. So that's why I kept my mouth shut. But I knew that, I knew that very soon that this is going to happen. I knew. If it had been somebody I'm close to, you know, some subscriber, uh, a YouTuber that I've known for long that I have been communicating with, I would have warned her to desist from this kind of uh, this kind of um, live stream of talking about one particular person and even the one she did about Coco Mama and her family is wrong she should you know this is your fellow YouTuber and you have never had a problem with her in the past she has never known you so you're not supposed to so her husband will just uh, bring out something 
convey it to her and you take up the case and expose her and expose her family. It's not everybody that likes to bring their family in, the, in this matter. So she should have contacted, you have told the husband that you're going to contact her and ask her some questions and ask her if it's okay for you to bring out everything open before you just open everything. You see? That's not how to do live stream. Whatever you are doing, reaction video live stream, you have to be careful because you don't know who you are going to react to and the person will wait for you for revenge. You see? So I wish her well. I hope the court favors her because I know that she has children to take care of. For her to carry all this money now and be wasted. Even if the subscribers have helped out, the money would have gone a long way for her instead of being used for paying lawyer and even being charged by the uh, the, the pastor that took her to court. He might win or he may not win. What, whatever the case is, she, has, she will still spend money. And they will ask her to stop mentioning his name. If she has been doing this live stream, just make people know that she's talking about this particular pastor. Then she will stop talking and uh, calling out his name or writing his name on, on her thumbnail. People will know, her subscribers will know that we are talking about this person. So if this case is arise, you can say that you never mentioned anybody's name. Yes, you can say you didn't mention them. You made video, yes, but you didn't mention them. So nobody should um, call you out. But you mention his name, call the wife's name, everything about the family, just like exposing someone's family while your own family is hidden. Because you wouldn't like someone to meddle in, into your family or your business and expose you like that. It's the same thing you did to Koko Mama Yadin Taposu Suleiman. He's a human being like us. He's a pastor. He's a human being. Um, you are not sure. I won't tell you that I'm 100% sure that those women are saying the truth. I know that there are truths inside. But once you talk about it, give them advice, move on. And if you can contact the pastor himself, ask him, so so say, how is it? Did he do it? Did he not do it? Don't just go on and focus on his name and be calling his name. He wouldn't like that. And nobody would like that. Understand? Uh, we, we ourselves, we already know the good pastors, we know the bad pastors, and we are we are free to worship whatever we want to worship. Even if you are saying that the person doesn't want to listen and close their ear, let them do what they want to do. They're not kids. Just fight for yourself and your family and people around you that can listen to you. Those ones that don't want to listen, let them continue whatever they want to do. At the end of the day, no one lives this life with anybody. You go alone and answer to God. You're answerable to God alone. Understand? So thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, share. Tell me what you think about this case of always talking about pastor 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 one particular pastor which can end someone in court in court or in jail or get your channel and money and uh, demonetized is it good or is it good to just talk and talk different 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 you know mixture so bye bye see you in my next video